Hi guys, welcome to a hey Math Group. Today I'm going to show you a quick and fast way how to figure out the limits when they give you a graph like this one. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's say that they ask you for the limit when x approaches negative 1 from the right. Okay, the first step is to figure out where x equals negative 1 is. So I know that x negative 1 is right here. If you have a plus on the top, that means that you need to come from right. So I'm going to go ahead and come all the way to the right. And then I'm going to get really close to whatever function is getting really close to negative 1. In this case, since I'm coming from the right, I see that the function coming from the right is getting really close to the y value. And then I look at my y value, negative 5. So when the limit of x approaches negative 1 from the right, the answer is negative 5. What about if you have the same question, but now the limit of x from negative 1 is approaching from the left? Well, I'm going to do the same under, the same thing that I did. I'm coming all the way from the left, okay? Now, I get really, really close to the function, and I see here that when I'm coming from the left and I'm approaching negative 1, approaching means getting really close to negative 1 from the left, the value of y is actually 4. So I see here, and I say, but wait a second. Since the positive size is getting to negative 5, because look at this, you're coming here, negative 5, and the left is actually getting to another, you know, to another point, which is equals to 4, the limit when x approaches negative 1 does not exist. Because if both limits are not the same, the limit does not exist. Perfect. Let's do another example. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the following example. Let's find the limit, okay, when x approaches 4, from the right. Remember, the first step is to go ahead and look where the x equals 4 is, and I know that is right here. So now, if I'm coming from the right, I go all the way, and I get really close to the function getting close to 4. I see here that the value is going to be negative 4. So this is going to be negative 4. What about if I'm approaching the limit when x goes to 4, but now from the left. Well, look what's going to happen. If Since I'm coming from the left, I'm going to go ahead and come all the way from the left, and I actually get really close to the function, and I see here that when I'm approaching equals x equals 4, the function actually goes all the way to the infinitive. So, what's going to happen? Since the function from the right is negative 4, because look, I can see here, and from the left is actually going all the way to the infinitive, the limit when x approaches 4 is does not exist, because the left and the right did not give me the same answer. Let's go ahead and do another limit. Let's go ahead and now say that, let's find the limit when x approaches 6 from the right. Look what's going to happen. When you come from the right, I'm going to go really, really, remember, first find your x equals 6. So I'm going to get really, really, really close. And I see that when x equals 6, or so when it's approaching 6, the value is equals to negative 4. What about if I find the limit when x approaches 6 from the left? That means that I'm going to come all the way from the left, and then, you know, remember, you need to get close to 6. So when I get close to 6 from the left, wow, look, I get the same value, negative 4. Therefore, the limit when x approaches 6 from the right and from the left are both equals negative 4. Therefore, the limit when x approaches 6 is just negative 4. In this case, the limit does exist because when you approach from the right and from the left, you get the same number. Now, let's go ahead and do one more, and let's say that we're going to approach the limit when x approaches the infinitive. Look at this. The infinitive is going to be to the right. Negative infinitive is going to be to the left. If, if I'm approaching to positive infinitive, that means that I'm going to go really close to the infinity value. As you can see here, when I'm getting really, really, really close to the inf infinity value, the function is actually going to be approaching this value, which in this case is going to be what? Negative 2. 
What about if I approach the limit from the negative infinitive? Well, I'm going to do the opposite. Remember, the negative infinitive is on the left. So I'm going to go ahead and go all the way here. And I see that when I approach the negative infinitive, the y value is equals to zero. And that's how easy it is to do the limits with uh, a graph. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Also remember, you can Skype with us. And also, thanks so much for learning. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Also remember, you can Skype with us. And also, thanks so much for learning.